اصبر نفسك مع الذين يدعون ربهم بالغداة والعشي يريدون وجهه الحمد لله وكفى والصلاة والسلام على المصطفى وآله وصحبه ومن اتقى أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته فق Our fiqh course is called Thinking Fiqh, meaning think in fiqh. The reason for that is because we want people to get a thick mindset, okay? So our first portion of this course is called, literally, Think in Fiqh, Think in Fiqh. And what we teach you are the five rules that that cover every aspect of your life. There's a hukum or a ruling on everything you're doing, whether you're doing something that is mubah, or you're doing something that's mustahab, or doing something's makruh, you need to know that, okay? So you start thinking the competent person knows the ruling on what he's doing before he does it, okay? He also has to know what is the objective of the sharia, what has Allah promised us, right? What, it, what does Allah want us to do and why? And those things. So all this part is a much of usul al-fiqh, qawa'id al-fiqhiyah in this section of the text. And the person starts to begin to understand the roots, the trunk, the ladder, the fruit, the, the furu, the branches, and what all that means. Then we move on to first grade fiqh. First grade fiqh is everything you should have learned before you became an adult. And for the adult, it's like having a, a second childhood for, you know, if you would, a second childhood Islamically. Even if you weren't born Muslim, you go back and you go through the things that you should have learned as a juvenile. OK, why do we do that? We do that because a lot of people are self-taught and when they're self-taught or they learned it when they were very young and they never went back to it. So they remember it in a childhood way. There's some holes there. So by going over it again, we cover all the ground. We cover all those holes. And now people are not like buying the same book over and over or, or different subjects, trying to figure out if they're missing something. You know you've not missed anything when you finish first grade fifth. Now you're ready to go to what a competent adult needs, and that's outlining fifth. Outlining fifth covers you know, fit in, a, in an outline form, but also it defines each section and summarizes it so you have a general understanding of what is there. It's things like, we say, fit is divided in four major parts. Ibadah is drawn from the fit of the hearts. Business transactions with all of these deals and family provisions, including the meals. Legal procedures, offenses of laws, and then under these four titles make everything for meaning every other section of fit is going to fit under one of these four sections. And then we move on to a classic. A classic, the classics, meaning a text, an Islamic text on fit that has been around for centuries. And these classics unite the Muslim Ummah from Asia to Africa to Western Hemisphere, United States, Americas, to Western Europe. The same classics have been used for hundreds of years. And you, the student, gets to read one of them, okay? And in doing so, he's now united mentally with the, accept, the expectations and understandings of everybody else around the world. Okay, and that's what we do in our uh, fit course. However, there's there's three levels we have here. We have children's fit. Okay, children's fit. We don't cover those adult classics. We do children's things, and in that class, we it's a lot of fun for the children. A lot of children nowadays are staying home, or the masjids are not allowing people to come there if they are unvaccinated or something like that. So you need a place to learn. Hey, bring the children here. We deal with the children and we teach them Islamic fiqh in a fun way, and it unites them with their brothers and sisters all around the world because the children is interactive in that fashion, live class. Also, we deal with science from an Islamic perspective in the children's fit class. We also have a woman section on uh, Thursdays. We have a time where only women can call in and ask questions just for them, for, for their privacy. They call in, we have that, that question and answer period once a week for that. On Mondays, we have a time where students can call in and ask any questions about the fit that we're studying. 
there. We don't want people jumping all over. We want you to be focused. And so this is the way we have it set up in our course. And the ladies can come to the Monday class. It's just the brothers can't come to the ladies uh, question and answer section. Okay? That's our fit course. Wa subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Ashadu wa la ilaha ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik. I hope to see you in class.